guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing the makeup habits tag. My friend Amy over at Dolly Mama Beauty tagged me in this video. I was gonna say tagged me in this tag video. That works too. It's a my makeup habits questionnaire. I was gonna say Q&A. Yeah, it's kind of a Q&A. So just a bunch of questions relating to makeup, my preferences, etc. And these are always lots of fun. I feel like I've talked about this before, but these types of videos are always lots of fun just to get to know a bit of the person, their personality, and sometimes the answer they give you is very surprising. Like it's not something you expect, so it's just lots of fun. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when I post a new video. Also, today is Wednesday, March 14th, which means it's the last day for my giveaway. So if you have entered, uh, good luck. If you have not entered, well, I think you have a few more hours left to enter. And I will be uh, emailing the winner shortly after the giveaway ends, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. So let's just jump into it and answer these questions. I have my laptop here on the side with all of the questions, and I'll also put them down below in the description box. If you feel particularly inspired by any of these questions and you feel like answering them either in the description box or by, um, and like, replying how can i like yeah replying with your own video feel free to do so okay so first question how often do you wear a full face of makeup foundation eye eyeshadow contour the works i feel like a full face of makeup is almost like five out of seven days i was gonna say nine out of ten but you know there's seven days in a week i would say five out of seven days seven days i wear a full face especially if i'm filming that's a full face sometimes when i'm not filming i still wear a full face so it's like it's more often than not i'm wearing a full face of makeup just because I particularly enjoy, I like makeup. I like the process of applying makeup. I like the results. I like just the products themselves. The whole process is just a lot of fun for me. So I wear a lot of it. So next question, is your everyday makeup look more neutral or more colorful? Today's an exception. I'm wearing some purples and pinks for spring, even though it's like really gross out. But I feel like more often than not, I wear more neutral colors. And when I do adventure, I've been loving like purples and pinks for spring, but usually I go for more neutral colors. Except for lipsticks, I love red lipsticks. Um, next question, how long does it take you to do your makeup look? It really depends. I mean, I can do this in half an hour, but the more time that I have, the more time that I take. So yeah, I can do this in half an hour, 20 minutes if I have to, I can get it all done. But I can also just luxuriate and sit there for an hour and a half if I have the time. It just depends on the day and how much time I have. Question number four, do you apply your foundation before or after you're done your eyeshadow? So for the longest time, I would do my eyes completely last regardless of what my makeup look was. And I don't know what's happened, but in the past several months, I just totally changed up the order of my makeup routine. So I start off, I apply a primer, I fill in my brows, I do my eyes, and then I do my foundation. So foundation and face, like contour, etc. that's like one of the last things I do now. I don't know why, it's just like something that has changed. I just do eyes first. It wasn't always like this, but now it is, I do eyes first. Uh, next question, what are some bad makeup habits that you have that you can't stop doing? I literally never wash my makeup brushes. It's so gross, it's so bad, especially like face brushes. I'm like, that's how you get breakouts. And even like eyeshadow, like I have some that are like pink, like this one here, that like you and I both know, I'm just gonna like rub it off on the back of my hand and like go like this. And tomorrow I'm gonna try to use a brown eyeshadow with that, like that's, it's bad. I even have like a clean, like a daily brush cleanser that I use every now and then. But like, I am just so bad at washing my brushes, so bad. Shame. Okay, so next question. Do you use beauty influencer techniques or your own techniques to apply your makeup? I mean, I guess a bit of both because I learned to do my makeup by watching um, beauty gurus on YouTube. So I kind of just picked up their habits and just kind of mixed in with my own. One thing that I did learn from Nikki tutorials is that when you're um, doing like bright colors is to like apply it with one brush and then blend it out with a separate brush, like a a blending brush that's clean, like not to pack it on with the same brush. It does give a better result and obviously you need to have clean brushes for that. So I do find that that makes a big difference. Like if you just like use one brush to pack on the color and then use a clean blending brush to blend it out, I find that does make a difference. I feel like that's the only thing that I can think of that like a beauty influencer has actually taught me. Okay, so next question. What is the one step in your makeup routine that takes the longest to complete? I feel like it's a toss up between brows and just eyes. It depends on the day, like today's eye look was a bit more complicated, but some days it's just like a mascara and like a little bit of like inner highlight, cor inner highlight corner, inner highlight color. 
just like a little bit of like you know highlight here and highlight there that's like a really simple eye look but yeah i feel like brows and eyes are kind of a toss-up it depends on the, it depends on the day okay so next question is like two parts it says what is one step in your makeup routine that you're okay with skipping and the second part is what is one step in your makeup routine that you will never skip I feel like I'm okay with skipping foundation. I feel like I've definitely done days where I just wear concealer and just, you know, blend it out with a bit of bronzer and some blush and been okay with that. One makeup step that I would never skip, I think mascara. I mean, brows are really important and so it's like brows and concealer are very important to me, but I feel like mascara is the one that like makes the biggest difference on me. So that's like mascara would be like the one step I would never skip. Next question. What type of makeup looks are out of your comfort zone? I feel like really uh, bright, vibrant colors. I, you know, I've been wearing some purples and pinks, but you know, some like really flashy, dark colors like that. Or, or you know what, like really, really dramatic wing liner, like the really crazy one. That's definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, a cut crease that's out of my comfort zone. Lots like, basically like all the Instagram makeup looks that you can think of. Those are all out of my comfort zone. The next question, do you, wear, do you wear matte liquid lipstick, cream lipstick, gloss, or a mixture? Today is a matte liquid lipstick, but I feel like I kind of like a little bit of all types of lip product. It depends on the day, depends on the mood. I find that matte liquid lips definitely do dry out your lips a lot more, but I feel like it also depends if I'm wearing my hair down or up. Like today, if I'm wearing my hair down, you know, it doesn't matter. If it goes here, it's not gonna smudge anywhere. And I don't know. It just depends on the day and the look. And I, I kind of like a little bit of everything. I like gloss, I like matte, I like cream finishes, you know, I like them all. Next question, if you could only wear one shade of lipstick for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be red. It would be like a classic, well, I don't know, maybe not a classic red, because a classic red is a bit more blue. I think more of an orangey undertone red. I would wear that all day, every day. I would be fine with that. I mean, maybe it'd be boring, but like, I would have a very signature look. Next question, do you highlight and contour your face? I do use highlight. Um, as far as like highlight and contour, you know, technically you're supposed to use like a cool tone um, contour product, either a cream or a powder, and to use that to do like real contour. I definitely just, I just use a bronzer and I kind of just like do like a three around my face. I'm not really into like heavy contour. That's not really something that I want to do, but if you do it, that's fine. Like when you think of like a contoured look, like if you just Google like contour, and you have like all like the zebra stripes of like different colors here and there. I definitely don't do that every day. That's I'm just more like a bronzer and a highlight kind of person. Okay, and so the last question. What is one step in your makeup routine that makes you feel the most complete? I think that would have to be lipstick because oftentimes when I apply foundation, a little bit or a lot of it goes all over my lips and so it kind of washes it out. And even if like my eye look is super extra and extravagant and my complexion is perfect, if my lips don't have a color to them, it looks a bit off, don't you find? Like when, I don't know, just like one of those things where I need to put the lip color on and then I'm like, okay, everything's done, everything is complete. That's like the finishing touch, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said, if you feel particularly inspired by any of these questions, feel free to write them down in the comments or feel free to do a video response and answer these questions as well. So thank you so much for stopping by. It really does mean the world to me that you take the time to watch my videos because there are literally thousands of YouTubers you could watch, but you take the time to watch me. That means so much. It's so nice. Thank you so much. So I hope you guys are having a good hump day, midweek. We're almost there. We're almost to Friday. What's like the like original, I was gonna say original, the official, first day of spring because I don't I feel like it's we're having like second winter right now it's snowing and it's gray and I don't like it so hopefully it's like actual spring soon like I have spring nail polish spring makeup I'm here for spring come on all right I'm rambling let me go I'm gonna go have some lunch all right so I will see you guys on Friday make sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can know when I post a new video and I will see you guys next time bye